G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this deep dive where we are going to be having a look at SharePoint site branding and how site owners can create your own custom themes and also apply your custom fonts to your SharePoint sites. Now, before we dive in, if you haven't already had a look at the SharePoint and Copilot Mastery membership, uh, head over to danielanderson.io forward slash membership where we have courses, both SharePoint and Copilot. We've got group coaching, We've got workshops, we've got expert-led sessions all happening inside of that membership. So head over there, have a look, uh, jump in and join, and I'll see you on the inside of that membership. But back to today's deep dive. So we can see that I'm on a SharePoint communication site here, and in the settings panel on the right-hand side when we click our cog, we'll see that we've got this new site branding option. And when I click this site branding option, I'm taken to a new page. Now on this page, this will allow us to be able to create brand new themes uh, and also apply font packages if they have been, if we've got custom fonts that have been made available uh, in the SharePoint brand center. So let's go ahead and create a new theme. So if I hit create new theme, we can see that we've got uh, a nice user interface to allow us to do that. No more PowerShell or anything like that. We can just do it directly inside of the browser. So we've got uh, two steps, we choose our colors. So we've got our primary colors, our text colors, our background colors, we've got, we can toggle our dark theme on and we've also got our accent color. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set my primary color. Now I'm going to choose an orange color here. So I'll grab the hex code and you can see that we've got the system default color there and I can add my new color. All right, so I can either do the uh, RGB codes or I can pop in my hex code and I'll hit save. Now automatically, what we can see on the right hand side is we get an idea of what that is going to look like. We also get an accessibility checker here. So you can see here that with this orange on a white background, the color palette's got one accessibility error. Now you can choose, it's up to you what you do with that. Um, it does say, uh, it should produce a, a legible text and have a minimum contrast of 4.5. So we can see that we've got a uh, an ex uh, the accessibility pair here, the primary color on the background color. So this orange on the white is giving us that error. But if I choose, let's say a different, uh, let's say a different orange. So if I pop in and let me just grab a different color, a different, almost a, a darker type of orange here. And I'll just grab the code. We can see if I go add color, I'll grab the hex code and I'll pop that in there. You can see that we've got uh, the green ticks there. Now I am just going to choose and go back to my other orange. So I'm just going to grab the original color, you can see that it keeps it in our memory and we'll, we'll pop that there. And we've got our background color. Now the default's white, so you don't necessarily have to change this if you don't, or if you are going to use white, you may as well just leave it the same and that will be fine. Now the dark theme, we can flick on if we want to. And you see here, if your theme uses dark background colors, select the dark theme to ensure that the text and other menu items will show up in the lighter colors uh, so that they are seen more easily, all right? So I will flick that on. Now the accent color, I'm just going to choose a, uh, a darker, darker type of color for my accent color. So I'm just going to choose this color here. And you can see that this color is used sparingly to complement the other brand colors to enhance your experiences, all right? Now, what you'll see is, uh, we can see that text color there. Uh, we actually don't want that text color, do we? We want this text color here. All right, so we can see that we've got now that um, that color and we can see what the, the different UI elements are going to look like. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, and then we'll hit next. Now, this is where we name our theme. All right, so I am going to name my theme. Let's call this theme uh, Copilot Studio, shall we? Uh, and we've got the accessibility reminder there. All right, so we need to check the combinations um, if we wanted to change that. So what I'll do, let me just jump back here and I will change this just so that we are um, 
ticking all the boxes here. So if I jump in and grab that other orange, which, well, actually it should, let's just have a look at this and we'll go, um, let's just flick this around a little bit. And you can see that sometimes when you choose your colors, you sometimes need to just change this background color and flick it over so that it picks that up. Uh, so that we've got, we now have got an accessible color palette. So we'll hit next and then we will hit save. So now I've got this, uh, this theme, it's called the Copilot Studio. Now where we apply that is if we go into up the top right hand corner here, once this loads, so we can see here, we've got change the look and what that theme will, well, that theme will appear now from this site and we can see that we've got our theme and you can see that uh, that dynamically changes on the left there and we can hit save and we are good to go. Now, the other part of the this site branding was our font package. So you can see our font packages here but we don't have any ability for us to be able to create or, um, or create our font package. That's because in the SharePoint Brand Center, there has been no custom fonts that have been uploaded in the SharePoint Admin Center for us to be able to use. So what we'll do is we'll jump into the Brand Center now, we'll up upload some fonts, and then we will be able to create our font packages. All right, so I'm now in the admin center. You can see that I'm in the Microsoft 365 admin center, not the SharePoint admin center. Under the settings blade here, under org settings, we can see that we've got an option here for brand center. Now, when I click on brand center, it gives me the ability to provision this brand center. So you can see that it's going to create a brand new site called Brand Guide. I've got the site uh, site address here, um, and I can uh, I've got the public CDN activation as well. I need to agree to that to then create our site. So we then create our site and that's gonna spin up this brand center site for us. And then we'll be able to use and upload our custom fonts. So we can see that we've got a brand center app and we've got a brand center site. So if I copy this link and I'll jump over to uh, a new uh, a new tab, I'll just close these tabs down and I'll paste that in and we'll open up the site and we'll see that it's just a standard, stock standard communication site, right? But we also have a brand center app where brand managers upload our assets and create our packages. So another tab, and you can see that the URL of the brand center is a, pay, a system page there, and we can manage our brand. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my fonts. So if I upload, I'll go to brand fonts, and then this will give me the, the ability to upload my fonts. So I've got, a, uh, I've got some fonts here that I'm just going to drag across and I've got seven fonts and here are the fonts there. All right, now if I just hit the tick, we'll make sure that we're, they're all visible, all right? So they are good to go and we've got our brand fonts available, all right? Now, if I go back to the landing um, and actually, where were we? We were, let me just refresh this. Um, we were at this one. So we're at the FlySafe conference, all right? So if I refresh this site branding page now, you can see that this button lights up because we've uploaded our custom fonts. So if I go new font package, I can choose my display font and I can choose my content font, all right? Now, that's because those fonts have been uploaded into the Brand Center and they're being made available. Now, if we had other fonts and fonts uh, uploaded in the Brand Center, then we'd have more options. So, display font and content font, okay? And we'll hit next. Now we can see here, assign our fonts. We can, our title, we're going to choose this and we've got our styles. So. I, for our titles, we're going to choose, let's choose just our bold italic, shall we? We'll do that for our, just to make things a little bit different. And we'll actually, let's choose the title and we'll go black. The title headline, we'll go body 
and the style will just go light. Now the interactive one is used to tr uh, for the trigger action, so buttons and things like that. So again, we'll choose our font and we might just, so it's a little bit different, we'll go regular italic, we'll hit next. And let's just call this Copilot Studio and we'll hit save. All right, so now we've got our font package also created as well. And we've got our theme, there's our theme, and we've got our font package uh, that we can that we can now use. So if I go back to my site, let's go up to the settings icon and we'll go to change the look. And you can see that we've got this font and the available font packages on this site. You'll see that we've got from this site and I've got Copilot Studio now and we're previewing the font and you can see that we've got all of our fonts now have been changed on the site on the left hand side. Not exactly how we would want, but just to give you an idea, you can see we've got the italic fonts there, etc. All right, and we hit save and then we're good to go. So if you've got all of your branded fonts, you can upload them into the brand center, create your font packages. If you've got a couple of different fonts, then you could use different fonts for different slots and things like that. All right, so um, there we go. The SharePoint Brand Center. Branding your SharePoint, uh, your SharePoint sites um, also gives you uh, site owners the ability to, uh, to take control of their site, but also from an admin perspective, we can then upload our custom fonts. Now there's, there is one more thing before we go that you can do, all right? So in our site branding, you can see also that we can copy from another site. So you can copy the theme and the brand from another site. So if I want to copy this, theme or brand, I can jump in and I like the, the brand of this site and there it is there. You can see that I get a preview of the site itself on the right hand side and I can choose um, the branding. I can either choose the theme and the font package or just the theme or just the font package, okay? So we can have uh, create a copy of this and that's gonna be the name of the theme. So I can say, let's go and save a copy. All right, so you can see that I'm on this, this completely different site. I've got the font package, I've got the theme. And now if I go back to my homepage of this site now, I've just copied it from the site that we just created it from. If I go up to change the look, theme, I've got the fly safe conference theme. I can apply that. I can hit save. You'll notice the font hasn't changed because we need to do that separately as well. So if I go to font, you can see that we've got here, um, we've got that font package there also. So I can change that and then everything on that site changes as well. So having the ability to copy a theme from another SharePoint site as well is part of that new uh, site branding capability. So I hope that brings you some value today. SharePoint site branding. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.